Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. That's the time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic work schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today, all the way from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, is Anika plowden Corentin. Hi, Anika. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Thanks so much for taking the time from your busy uh, artistic <laughs> schedule to speak with me today. I sincerely appreciate it. It's such a pleasure. Thanks for reaching out. I appreciate it. From one artist to another. Thank you so much. Okay. So, Anika, tell me, how did you get started in art? What was your journey as an artist? Well, as long as I can remember, and that would be probably in secondary school, yes. I started painting, but my, the technique I used at that time was fabric. So I was mm -hmm. very good with fabric painting and doing clothes. I always liked fashion. So yes. very young in the game when I was like 18, probably from 14, I started my small business with a very good friend of mine and we would sell t-shirts and we would okay. sell those. And um, yeah, it just took off. And okay. um, somewhere along the line, when I was in university, I would sell to buy books. And um, that's pretty much how it started. I, it was my outlet for relaxation. Right. And my, my personal therapy and um, ability to be relaxed and free. So yes. it started, I think, distinctly at the age of 14. And um, just a couple of years ago, about three or four years ago, I started um diving back into my art not okay. the pride as much but more the canvas right know, canvas paintings and what um medium do you use my medium i use mixed media oh, okay um so i like a lot of textured um work okay i like to use sequins i like to use um fabric and different um, textures to create my artwork. Okay. I just like when you when you when you look at the piece you feel like touching it. And right, I right. create that um, effect using paint, but I find it's quite dramatic when I use um, different um, materials. Wonderful. And what subject matter do you enjoy creating? Well, I have this um, theme that I work with um, for the past couple of years called the Dancing Bell. Okay, so the dancing, dancing Bell. Yes, she is a female figure um, and she always has her hands outstretched, rejoicing. I'm really navigating through life's challenges. And even in this season that we're in, um, where there's so much challenges taking place yes. locally, globally, um, besides the normal ones women have to go through. Yes. So the dancing bell always depicts this female figure with her arms outstretched, always in the mood of dancing, always looking elegant. Um, but really, it's how we as women navigate life. Wonderful. So, so um, I would love to see some uh, samples of your work. Please show me. I'm seeing some interesting work um, beside you there. Let's take a look at the art. Mm -hmm. So this particular piece is from um, my Light and Life um, series. So okay. again, you see Dancing Bell, there's a lot of movement, always has, she always has a lot of energy and there's always a lot of movement taking place in the painting. Yes. Um, so this is my Light light and life series this one over on this side as well but what is interesting though her hands are above the um painting always her and so what always. material do you have you used in that particular one? Oh, which one the one up there yes oh that's the easel okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> but i thought it may be a good idea to sometimes take the hands out of the um of the square yes, frame. yes. I need to wear my glasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, lovely. So probably. And so the next one. Yes. Is it acrylic? And then you put um, please tell me what materials you use there. Well, it's fabric. 
Oh. So I use fabric and not canvas. And with the fabric, I find that there's a lot of fluidity. So you can flow much easier than when you use the canvas because when you're using fabric um and you water down either your fabric paints or your acrylic it moves really easily and yes. i love to see how vibrant it looks as well on fabric okay. so when you use fabric it's actually when you use um fabric paints or acrylic on fabric you tend to find the, the colors pop up a lot you don't have to use right of paint so i i lay the background in a water base um fluid um, design and then I overlay the fabric. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And yes, then, let's look at an, another piece that you have to show us. So we have this is a canvas piece and it's called the Bleeding Heart. Oh. And this piece was done in 2020 during um, lockdown. So right, right. now we're in Canadad, we're going through our own little lockdown again. Yes. And last year we did. We were going through a period where everyone was indoors. And of course, we didn't know what was taking place globally. And I started to paint this piece about the bleeding heart, how I was feeling when I saw what was taking place in Italy and China and um, in the US. And uh, yeah, so she's again that woman who's transitioning and going through turbulence, but she's standing firm. Her hands are stretched, she's yes. stable, and she's moving through regardless so in spite of what is taking place in the midst of what is taking place yes he's standing through wonderful so blade and hearts okay and there is one more piece that's behind this piece um it's a pretty large one she's about four feet four feet tall okay and she's done of fabric and sequins and acrylic it's a canvas piece as well Okay, would you be able to bring it a little forward down? Oh, great. You seen her? Yes. So this piece, she's about four feet tall. Okay. And um, the name of this piece is Pure Passion. And it really is about having passion for whatever you do in life. Yes. And this particular piece, I submitted it to the... Um, we have a, a... Central Bank has a exhibition that they have okay um, ever so often and this is one of the pieces that I submitted that was selected so right. she's her passion and she's really a bell and yes. let me explain to the international audience in Trinidad and Tobago we have um a ballet dancer and they typically dance a lot and I think to a great extent my dancing bells um they have been influenced firstly by the dance of the hummingbirds in Trinidad, okay. we have the hummingbirds yes. and the flight of hummingbirds. I love the way the hummingbirds um, yes. were wrong. And uh, then it evolved from the influence of the hummingbirds into this, this dancer, this Caribbean dancer we call the ballet dancer. And of course, for me, the dancing bell is a dancing beauty because in spite of all women typically go through, we make everything beautiful in spite of all the challenges. Yes. We, we navigate, we create and we move. We get things done. Right, right. Beautiful. And the colors remind me of uh, the colors of the hummingbirds too. Yes. Those, uh, yeah. Greens and blues. Beautiful work. Thank you. And I can see the um, the texture in the yes, fabric. Yeah, a lot of fabric. Yes. A lot of acrylic. And it makes you want to touch. And yes. <laughs> I will have my work in um, exhibitions and I will stand behind um, the audience. People will come and take a look and they really want to touch it. And I'll yes. tell them about to touch it and they'll be like, no, I said, yeah, go ahead and touch it. Oh, you and let them like, touch. Okay, course, that's of different. Course, because it's important for you to, one of the, the points of creating all these texts because I, I wanted people to touch and feel and okay. connect and you can connect with your eyes, but it's only obvious when you see something that is popping at you, you want to touch it. Right, and right, right. So, okay, so you're appealing to the, the whole tactile um, nature of the audience. Yeah. Wonderful. So Anika, please tell me what are other projects you have on the go? Well, um, I'm a part of an NGO. It's called Chosen Hands. It's an art and wellness um, program that yes. we will um, 
vulnerable people. So I, I, when people hear the word vulnerable, we are all going through some vulnerability in life. Yes. Um, especially during this, this season, this pandemic that we're going through. So we use art as a means of relaxation and expression. Mm -hmm. And quite often we deal with a lot of young people yes. um, and help them to use art and color to express themselves. And sometimes we deal with adults. Yes. And we remind them what it felt like when you were in primary school or secondary school or you were in even as far back as um, kindergarten and you would use your crayons and you would just play. Right. And um, coming out of a, a professional environment, I remember not playing a lot. <laughs> you have to be very serious. And for yes. me, it's important to show people, even professionals, how you can go back um, to childhood things and it helps you create. Yes. Back when we work with professionals, um, and they use things as simple as crayons and finger painting and hand painting and just touching the paint. Um, it helps them to become more creative when they have to do strategic work. Okay, um, young, wonderful. Young people who are vulnerable, it just allows them to, for, for just a moment in time, forget some of the things that they're going through. Wonderful project. Well, thank you so much. And how can viewers see more of your work? Well... I do have a website. Okay. And as I told you before, um, you can find me at, um, well, Chosen Hands is the Facebook page for um, the NGO, if you're interested. Chosen and Hands, okay. Chosen Hands, and we're always looking for volunteers. It's a mentorship program. So we yes. use a lot of artists. We encourage artists to be part of our program and they give right. back. Okay. And I, um, you can also find me at Anika Art. So that is my website. And of course, Instagram, Anika Plowden, Corentin Artist. So just okay. to repeat it again, Chosen Hands, um, if you put in brackets NGU, you will see the area, the, yes. the that's for Facebook, that's for the NGU. And for my website, it will be Anika um, Art. And it will come up as well. Okay, then. Well, thank you so much. I'll put your um, Instagram and website in the video. And uh, that's all we have time for today. So thank you so much, Anika, for joining me on Art Snack. I'm the viewers me. can also see uh, my website, jennylynjames.com slash art. And Instagram and Facebook, Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks so much again, Anika. Thanks. I hope people are encouraged to go out and just start back painting and coloring and just having fun. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hope to see you every day. Hit the subscribe button.